channel i'm stephanie if you're new here i hope you guys are all having a good friday and today has just been one of them crazy crazy fridays we had a very busy morning and with some sick kids and some other stuff that's been going on so it's afternoon right now and everything is just settling down and I just wanted to share with you guys this quick recipe. So I have most of it prepared and ready. I try to like to do that for you guys just so you guys don't have to sit through some of the long processes of cooking everything but I will leave the recipe down in the description and some of the things that I'm using um, with my air fryer. If you guys want to purchase what, an air fryer or an Instapot, down in the description for you guys to get some of that stuff. I also have some accessory um, things that you can add to your air fryer. But today we're just going to be making uh, chicken nachos in the air fryer. I went ahead and made the chicken already in the air fryer and I will add that clip right now. You need to have a piece of foil that is big enough to fit into your air fryer. I've showed you guys this in some of my other videos that I've used foil in um, some of it just because it's easier cleanup. It's better with the air fryer too sometimes. But today it's actually um, for the chicken nachos. This way you can just pull them straight out from using the foil. So what I like to do is just fold it inward uh, don't mind Evelyn, she's down at the bottom of my feet right now playing. So I just kind of fold it up into a square like that. And then I just take a normal uh, corn thing and just poke some holes in it because you need that for ventilation. So just go ahead and do that. Okay. So you're gonna need that and I'm gonna go ahead right away and put your foil inside. I have all of my stuff over here. So I showed you in the clip how I made the chicken. You can cut it up into any sizes that you would like. I did cook some chicken in the Instapot that shredded a little bit nicer and that was more for like if you want fajitas or something like that. You can go ahead and put your chicken breast in here with a cup of water and put it on your poultry uh, setting and that cooks, um, I think it was like 30 minutes. So if you wanna make like more of a shredded chicken, you wanna go that route. So this one turned out pretty good for the chicken nachos. But if you want more of the shredded style, then go ahead and use your Instapot and make it that way. I'll also leave the recipe for the Instapot for how to make the chicken there and how, to, how I made it in the air fryer with what we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get things started and um this is what i used today i just had the restaurant style chips the uh tortilla chips the blue blue kind um onions tomatoes and then my queso sauce you can have we tried it with um black olives i'm sure you could put some refried beans on there if you would like and then top it with some avocado or what other things you want to add to it um, you could probably put some sour cream on there too, some hot sauce, some salsa. So go ahead and um, do it the way you want to do it. This is just how we made it today. So I'm going to start by using um, this cooking spray avocado oil. I did um, want to try something different than what I was using. Um, this was probably a more healthier way than the one that I was using before. So we're going to give this a try. So spray your foil because you're gonna have where your chips are gonna stick. You're gonna layer your chips in there. Tap it with chicken, cheese sauce, tomatoes, and your onions. And then go ahead and put it in your air fryer. You're going to bring it down to 355 
and cook for five minutes. No flipping or anything in between like other times. It's just five minutes. The chicken nachos are done. And then you can just uh, plate it up that way unless you want to scoop it up and put it on the plate without the foil, go ahead and do that also. But it just kind of makes it a little easier if you just keep it right on the foil. It's just an easier way, unless you can get an accessory to go inside here that allows you to um, plate it up and put it in there and not use foil. So hopefully that makes sense. With that, this is what the nachos look like. And like I said before, you can um, kind of plate it up any way you would like or add anything to it that you would like. You could use taco meat if you would like, fajitas in the air fryer if you would like. Um, maybe that'll be one of my other videos that I'll do a fajita recipe. But for today, it's just the chicken nacho. Did that makes sense today, guys. And that was easy enough for you guys to follow. It was just a quick appetizer for today. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.